Hello YouTube, Austin Clark here, and today we're going to look at a Windows-like distribution of Linux called Zord OS 9. Let's get into it. As always, I'm going to divide my review into five components. 1. Ease of operation. 2. Appearance and customization options. 3. Package management. 4. Community support. And 5. Any personal opinions that I might have. Zorin OS 9 is an excellent distribution of Linux for those who are used to the Microsoft Windows environment. Similar features like a start menu, a metro-ish color scheme, and a bunch of pre-installed software make it really great for those who just want everything to be there right out of the box. I found it really simple to navigate through the menu and find the system settings for the Wi-Fi, the sound, and any sort of preferences I wanted to change. And installing apps to the software center is easy as clicking the install button. Debian-based distros like this are reliably stable and any updates that come in are available through the software updater. Overall, it's very easy to use and if you're coming from Windows, you might find the software center to be incredibly useful. Zorn OS 9 has to have one of the greatest looking out-of-the-box desktop environments out there. As I said before, those coming from Windows will love this. By default, Zorn 9 comes with an application, or package, called Zorn Theme Changer, in which users can select between a light, a blue, or a dark theme. There's also an application called Zorn Look Changer, which allows the user to select between the style of Windows 7, Windows XP, and GNOME 2. If you purchase the premium edition of Zorn for £10, <coughs> you have access to more system appearance options. However, the only appearance options outside the theme changer is being able to change the background. Users who are looking to tweak a lot will have a hard time. Zorn is based in Ubuntu, meaning that installing most programs is as easy as using the software center. However, some programs aren't available there. Adding a PPA, then the application, and then updating to install one third-party app is kind of ridiculous compared to other package managers out there. Although stable, packages will come in days, weeks, or even months later than their actual release. Without great community support, your mom's going to call you more often than she should. ZoranOS.com has a nice help button with an installation guide, a forum, an IRC channel, and a section labeled Premium Support for users who pay for the premium version. Along with the Ubuntu forums, there are over 20,000 posts in the Zoran forum alone, including an unofficial manual. Zorn OS is a great operating system for those who just want everything to work. I give this to my mom and she would enjoy it. And the pre-installed software, although a bit excessive, is more than enough for most people. I think having Wine and Plant Linux pre-installed is also great for any gamers who want to give Linux a shot. Although I'd love to have a Steam already installed. For desktop tweakers and for those who want to make their operating system their own, you won't find any support for custom themes or text unless you're using the GNOME desktop environment. I'm not the biggest fan of app, but the Software Center is great. So, looking at the pros and cons, I'd like to give Zorn OS 9 a 7 out of 10. If you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe, and tell me what you guys think about Zorn OS in the comments section. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.